a controversy has found its way to me. Uh, one that I would consider serious enough that I should respond to it. I think most of you probably know what I'm talking about. I am, of course, referring to the uh, controversy that derived from the Perfect Pickle video. I, uh, it was never my intention to offend anybody. I am just very passionate about pickles and wanted to share what I felt was the uh, perfect pickle. Uh, to say the response to the video was mixed would be to put it lightly. Uh, despite the fact that there were some positive uh, comments. Um, I, I was also lambasted. Uh, I'll share a few of those with you. Uh, first, the one that I felt was uh, kind. Enjoyed the video but I would like to see this turned into a series where you guys try other brands of pickles and find the best overall brand and pickle type for crunch, flavor, and darkness ratio. Um, that's not going to happen, unfortunately, after uh, the, the, after this fiasco. Uh, there was something that we had thought about, but uh, it's completely out of the question now to prevent offending any further individuals. I'll, I'll keep everybody anonymous, except for one individual. At, at the end, I'll do him last. This individual stated, uh, and, and this is in response to, I guess, how I handled Chris uh, being uh, blatantly wrong about crunch ratios. Uh, wow. Wow. This totally wasn't a transparent attempt to hop on the pickle buzz stirred up by the new motion picture an American Pickle starring Seth Rogen. I'll address that first before the second half. Um, pickles are a big craze right now. What can I say? There's a new Pickle movie coming out. Uh, the Pickle Rick meme is uh, quite popular. I just felt like the right time. I, I've been wanting to make a Pickle related video for God knows how long, and it just, uh, I don't know, with all the pickle uh, craze going on at the time, I felt like this would be the point where people would most understand what I was saying. Uh, I wouldn't say that I was um, trying to, ha I, I, I wouldn't say like I was trying to ape what was going on in the pickle world. I felt I had something unique to say in the pickle community, um, uh, but uh I don't know. I, I don't know if I, I agree with this take. I, I don't think that this is the particular take that I feel uh, bad about. Um, I, I think that I was I was well within my rights to um, to uh, give my two cents on the pickle situation. But he he carries on. He says, "And Chris, you were great." And Chris, you were great, and I'm sorry Ben dragged you through the mud with his crunch theory. In today's volatile, in today's volatile political climate, I got nothing for. In today's volatile political climate, I got nothing but respect for owning up to being wrong. Uh, yeah, I give uh, I also give Chris credit for um, owning up to being unbelievably wrong uh, about his pickle theory. Um, but uh, still, like, oh, come on. Like, are we, are, we, are we kidding here? The lighter side of the pickle is crunchier? Get out of here. But that's fair. I shouldn't uh, lambast the people that are uh, helping me in my pickle endeavor um, in the video. So that's a fair... Statement. And now the person uh, that really sparked the, uh, the genesis for this video, the apology video, uh, Cucumber Bill. Cucumber Bill said, WTF, I subscribe. Cucumber Bill says, WTF, I subscribe to this channel for movie-related content, and I never expected it to get political here. 
I guess that's maybe just the nature of today's society, but fuck me for thinking I could find a safe space here. I feel personally attacked, and I might have to unsubscribe. I will give you a second chance to make amends. Maybe remove the video, or use your platform to apologize. I'll give you 24 hours, okay? Um, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to respond within the 24 hours that uh, Cucumber Bill had asked me to. Uh, I, I genuinely couldn't. I was camping uh, before he had left his comment, and... Uh, He, um, I hope he understands that I, I didn't have the means to make a proper apology. And I left a comment letting him know that an apology was on the way. So I just hope that, uh, this was enough. I'm going to try to make this quick. I didn't want this video going too long. And I can see on my little viewfinder there that I'm already getting up past, uh, the six minute mark. So... Cucumber Bill, this was not in any way meant to attack you. I'm not taking the video down, so you can fucking forget about that. <sighs> but no, this wasn't a... But no, this wasn't an attack... This wasn't an attack on you, Pickle Bill. This... Or Cucumber Bill. Uh, this was uh, simply... Uh, this this came from a place of passion. I, I've learned a lot... In the past uh, three, four days, um, uh, and I would, I can comfortably say that I would never make that video now. Still leaving it up. It's not going anywhere. But I've, I've learned that uh, I should be more careful in the future. More, uh, as you say, movie-related content is on the way. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, pickle-related controversy anymore. Uh, I'm trying to create a, a safe space for all kinds of vegetables uh, on this channel. C cucumbers, uh, pickles, uh, peppers. Although I will say this, after reading your comment, I was trying to ascertain what, what did I say that was offensive, uh, Cucumber Bill? And I was, I got, I was kind of worried that it was maybe thinly veiled pickle uh, discrimination, a cucumber discriminating against a pickle and was just mad at the fact that I would even acknowledge the existence of pickles. And I hope that's not the case, Cucumber Bill, uh, because I, uh... We're here to have fun, and uh, I'm choosing to uh, take your comment seriously, um, and I'm going to do my best to go forward a better person after this, and be more aware of what uh, it might be like to be a member of the Bill family, or just be a cucumber in general, or be any kind of vegetable. Uh, I'm going to do my best for you. But, if this is thinly veiled pickle racism, Cucumber Bill, then there's no place for that on my channel, and I, I will continue to enjoy pickles uh, here.